from one of the coldest places in the universe to a potential future home for humanity, here are nine of the universe's most uninhabitable planets. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 9. Hoth Nicknamed Hoth after the fictional planet in Star Wars, Ogle, 2005-BLG-390-LB, is located near the center of the Milky Way. It's one of the coldest and most distant planets known in our galaxy. What makes Hoth notable is how far it's located from its star, with an orbital period of approximately 10 years. The planet doesn't appear to meet the necessary attributes for sustaining life. This is mainly because of its extreme surface temperature, which reaches about minus 370 Fahrenheit. This is roughly four times lower than the lowest surface temperature ever detected on Earth. Breathing in such an environment would destroy our lungs and bring about instant death. Number 8. Kepler 1b Kepler 1b, like Hoth, is an exoplanet, meaning that it's located outside our solar system. The most notable aspect about Kepler 1b is that it reflects less than 1% of the light that hits it. It's the darkest known exoplanet and the reason for that is still a mystery. One theory is that it's due to the absence of reflective clouds, like those that make Jupiter so bright. Another theory is that there are light-absorbing chemicals like vaporized potassium or sodium in its atmosphere. Whatever the case may be, Kepler-1b is unhospitable because of the high proximity to its parent star and the scorching surface temperature. Before we move on, answer this question. What does it sometimes rain on Saturn? Is it a. Molten metal B. Glass C. Sulfuric acid D. Diamonds Let us know what you think in the comments section below and stay tuned to find out the right answer. Number 7. Jupiter The fact that we're familiar with it doesn't make Jupiter any less terrifying. It's a gas giant, meaning that it lacks a well-defined solid surface. Rapid rotation is what gives the planet its somewhat spherical shape. One of Jupiter's scariest features is something called the Great Red Spot. It's a hurricane wider than the Earth in diameter that's been observed for hundreds of years. This is the largest storm in the solar system. It's not, however, the only storm on Jupiter. Others rage throughout the planet, with winds of over 400 miles per hour and enormous lightning bolts, 100 times brighter than those on Earth. At greater depths, hydrogen, which accounts for most of Jupiter's composition, turns into a liquid metal due to a combination of pressure and heat. A deep layer of liquid metal hydrogen combined with the planet's rapid rotation creates an enormous magnetic field. Because of its immense gravity well, Jupiter has been described as the solar system's vacuum cleaner. The planet is constantly bombarded with comets, more so than any other planet in the solar system. Number 6. HD 189733b Located about 64.5 light-years from our solar system, HD 189733b is known as a hot Jupiter. These planets are physically similar to Jupiter but have a much shorter orbital period, usually of less than 10 days. The proximity to the star they orbit also means that surface temperatures are extremely elevated. The planet's color has been determined as being deep blue, the result of light reflecting silicate particles in its atmosphere. Because of the planet's temperature, the particles are believed to condense and form glass. The glass is swept through the atmosphere by winds of up to seven times the speed of sound. The particles are still incredibly hot, making HD 189733b a hellish planet, where it rains molten glass at a sideways angle. Before we move on, official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. It's out of this world. Number 5. Kelt 9b Kelt 9b is, simply put, one of the hottest planets in the known universe. The temperature of its atmosphere is so high 
that elements which are normally bound in molecules can exist as a singular atomic species. This includes singularly ionized iron and singularly ionized titanium. The planet's atmosphere mainly consists of hydrogen and it's slowly being consumed by the planet's parent star. With a surface temperature in excess of 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit, KELT 9b is hotter than most stars with a lower mass than that of our Sun. If a human being somehow made it to the surface, they would be incinerated and disintegrated at the same time. Number 4. Gliese 436b Gliese 436b is known as the planet of burning ice. It's located very close to its orbiting star, at about 2.5 million miles. The immense gravitational force from the planet's core keeps water from evaporating, despite a surface temperature of roughly 822 degrees Fahrenheit. The state of the water on this planet is known as Ice 7, a crystalline form of ice that has also been manufactured in laboratories on Earth. Just like carbon turns to diamond with the proper temperature and pressure, so does water on Gliese 436b turn to burning ice. Naturally, the blazing sphere of ice baffled scientists when it was first examined in the mid-2000s. The mysteries don't end here. The methane content expected on such a planet is 7,000 times lower while carbon monoxide is abundant, even though it begins to form at about 1,652 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 3. PSR J1719-1438b Due to the force of gravity, the closer a planet is to its star, the faster it moves. From that perspective, this is one of the fastest planets in the known universe. PSR J1719-1438b orbits its host star so closely that its entire orbit could fit into our Sun. It completes its cycle in a little over two hours and at a distance of roughly 400,000 miles from its star. At the time of its discovery in 2011, it was the densest planet ever known. Because of the intense pressures acting upon it, the planet is believed to be largely composed of crystalline carbon just like diamonds. It's the same pressure that would obliterate anyone foolish enough to walk on its surface. So, what does it rain on Saturn sometimes? The right answer was D, diamonds. In the planet's upper atmosphere, lightning storms turn methane into soot. As it falls for thousands of miles, the intense temperature and pressure gradually turns the soot into graphite and then diamonds. The diamond hailstones ultimately liquefy into a sea of carbon as they reach the planet's hotter core. Number 2. Venus Venus is undoubtedly one of the deadliest planets in our solar system. Its surface is filled with volcanoes that release huge amounts of heat and carbon dioxide. The thick clouds that Venus is shrouded in are mainly made up of sulfuric acid. They prevent sunlight from reaching the planet's surface and trap carbon dioxide. Temperatures reach close to 870 degrees Fahrenheit, making it by far the hottest planet in our solar system. Unlike many other terrestrial planets, even Venus's poles are smoldering. Rainfall is composed of deadly sulfuric acid but, because of the intense heat, it never reaches the surface. It only forms more acid clouds. The atmospheric pressure at surface level is 92 times that of Earth. It's the rough equivalent of what you'd experience at a depth of 3,000 feet underwater. Number 1. Mars Named after the Roman god of war, Mars is a planet that's earned a major spot in our collective imagination. It's the only planet on our list that might be colonized at some point in the future. For the time being, however, Mars is highly unhospitable and presents several challenges to human life. The red planet's low atmospheric pressure prevents liquid water from existing across large regions for extended periods. Water is essential for our survival and for life as we know it, to thrive. Mars doesn't have a magnetosphere, which combined with the thin atmosphere means that humans would be exposed to high levels of radiation on its surface. They also wouldn't be able to breathe without proper equipment, since the atmosphere is about 
carbon dioxide. Mars has the largest and most violent dust storms in the solar system, with wind speeds of over 100 miles per hour. They can strike a small area or cover the entire planet. Gravity at the surface is only 38% that of Earth, which would weaken bones and muscles, as well as cause cardiovascular problems for potential colonists. These are only a few of the issues that must be addressed before we can even think about inhabiting the planet. Thanks for watching. Would you rather colonize a new planet knowing you can never return to Earth or fight extraterrestrials for the preservation of life on our planet? Let us know in the comments section below.